I know it's early in the morning, but let me start on in, in, off in my traditional way. Good morning, boys and girls. Yeah, let's go with Bernard this morning, okay, less formal. Uh, Boys and girls, we're going to do something amazing over the next six weeks, six weeks. Okay, mum and dad and others in the church are going to be reading this book. You might see it around home and you might feel like, I'm I'm going to give that a go and you might want to open it and have a look at it and I'd encourage you to do that. But we're going to learn that book, which is really a summary of this book. What's this book? It's the Bible. Does anyone know how many books there are in the Bible? Anyone know? Well, there you go. Is that what you were going to say? That's right. 66 books in the Bible. But I'm a simple guy, and so rather than 66, we're going to learn the Bible in six pictures. Six pictures. That's all you've got to remember, just six pictures and little parts of God's Word. And when you remember all of those six pictures, you'll be able to share God's amazing good news. I'm going to show you how good a drawer I am today because these pictures are pictures that I can draw. And we're going to start learning them today. And on your kids' sheets, you'll have one you can take home and put on the fridge, the back of the toilet door because we do a lot of our thinking there. Uh, At the breakfast table, you could laminate it and put it up in the shower. You could put it in your bag and look at it on your way to school. But I'm going to draw you the first picture now and then I'm going to get you to explain it to me. Okay? Now, I know Molly draws a good crown, but I'm going to draw my crown because it's a really good crown. Okay, and uh, then I'm going to get, Baxter, can you get this up on the overhead, please, mate? That'd be great. Okay, and that one's much better. All right, so here's our picture. This is what we're going to learn, okay? Can everyone tell me, what's this up the top? This is a? Crown. I couldn't hear. This is a? Crown. All right, that's a crown. We'll come back to that in a moment. Uh, who's this? This is a? Me. It's a person, or me, or you, or men and women. What do you reckon? This big circle is down here. Lawso, what do you reckon that is? Earth or the world. Okay, well done. So we've got a crown. Who do you reckon the crown represents? Yep. God God does. Because God wears the biggest crown in the world. God's the boss. And and, and God made what? God made what's this? Earth. God made the world. And God made everything. And we just heard Seamus read the last day. God made everything. And when God made everything on the second last day of creation, because the last day is the best, that's when we get to rest. On the second last day of creation, God made people, you, me. And he made us to be like him in his image. So here you go. This is what we're learning. God made the world and he made it really, really good. And God made us to to be bigger than the world and to rule the world under him. And how do we rule the world? We rule the world by using these. What are these? And what do you do with your ears? You listen. Thanks, Molly. You listen. And when you listen, you then do something with God's word. You ignore it or you obey it? Obey it. All right, let's go through this again. God made the world, and it's really good, and he made us in his image to look after the world by listening to him and obeying him. Now, we've got a verse to go with that. I think that's the next slide. Baxter, is that there or not? Yeah, there's the verse there. You are worthy, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honour and power. For you created... How much did God make? He made how much? All the things. God made all things, and by your will they were created and have their being. So I'm going to hold this up. On your kid sheets, you have this one. Okay. Now, you can colour that in because black and white's pretty boring. You can colour that in, you can decorate it, and then you put it on the fridge above your bed head, in your Bible, laminate it, whatever, but remember it. Because over the next six weeks, we're going to learn six pictures that summarise the whole of God's word so we can share it with our friends. Easy to do? All right. And and you know what? Mum and dad and others in your household are doing the same thing. So every day you can test mum and dad. Hey, mum and dad, what verse are we learning? Hey, mum and dad, have you practised the picture? Hey, mum and dad, can you put the picture and the verse together? And then, you know, over morning tea, you can go and find someone not in your household and ask them how they're going. And, that, and you know what? They'll ask you how you're going too. So remember, God made the world, made us in his image to rule the world by listening to him and obeying him, and it's very good. Let me pray, then we're going to our kid sheets. Dear God, thank you that you made the world. Thank you that you made it very good. Thank you that you made us in your image to rule the world by hearing you and obeying you. Thank you for this good news. In Jesus' name, amen.